Hello YouTube, this is a pretty big update. A lot has changed since last week, um, or I guess it was two weeks ago since a full update. But I put tin foil over the top here just so that some light would stay in when I am not here. Uh, and so here, we'll just start over here. Um, this is the Pinguicula morensis, and it's just doing the same. It's not, its leaves are growing bigger, but not much. I think it's doing pretty good. Uh, I made this the other day. It's a ceramic dish. Uh, and I put a bunch of peat moss and sand. And then I just got a bunch of live sphagnum from Meadowview. And I'm a member, and so it's $10 for this bag. And I get it all the time because it's really good. Uh, and then I already have some Josera rotundifolia. Um, but I'm gonna get, I'm getting in the mail from Meadowview also, Drosera Intermedia, and some Philformis, and more Rotundifolia, and I'm gonna make a big temperate bog out of this. Okay, back here, those are just germinating. Uh, this one right here has Drosera Alicae, and that one has Drosera Madagascarensis Botswana. And the Drosera alicae germinated. I thought they were just little sprouts, but they're actually sundews. Um, moving on here. This is Drosera indica. And they've grown like crazy. I didn't really notice it until a few days ago, but... I don't know if you can see. But there are tons of little green sprouts. There's one in this divot right here. And there's some right here. Um, and then here... The two right here have grown even more, and they already have like five carnivorous leaves. There's another one back there too. And so, going on the test, I don't know. I think that the sphagnum moss, the ones on the sphagnum moss, germinated faster, but the ones on the sand, uh, more germinated definitely. So that was fun, interesting. Okay. And I potted up all my sundews. Uh, I had my sundew terrarium, which is now down here. It has nothing in it. Uh, I potted them all up. It looks a lot better. Just there at Adelaide. There's a leaf cutting right there that I took. And there's a baby from a root cutting right there. It's hard to see because the lights are bright. Uh, more sphagnum moss I just put in. Uh, just there at Nidiformis. There's a flower stalk in the middle. It looks kind of pinkish. It's coming up. Uh, Drosera capensis giant. Just put it on a new leaf. It's opening a new one right now, actually. And this is a flower stalk of Drosera spatulata ex capensis. And when it came in shipping, one of the flowers was blooming. And there were two that looked like they were about to bloom. And those two actually died in shipping. But then the next one continued to bloom yesterday. And now there's two more blooming today. And I think these are the last ones, because the other ones don't look as big. Uh, Drosera Intermedia Cuba. I think there might be Drosera Rotundifolia in here, too. I don't know how it got in here, but it looks like it. I'll see if it grows and looks more. Uh, Drosera Scorpio Eyes is looking a lot better. Drosera Bermani Seeds in the back on live sphag or dead sphagnum. Uh, and then... Down in the back, Drosera banata dicotoma giant. One of the leaves opened up completely. It looks amazing. But <clears throat> the ends of it hadn't fully formed before we went before it got shipped. And so they turned black. But there is a whole other one coming up. And this one goes so fast. It, I swear, it grows like an inch a day. It's crazy. Then Drosera spatulata back there. And Drosera... Spatulata ex capensis. And that one was bad. It was shipped bare root and it didn't do very well. But there's a lot of bladder warts. You can see them blooming. And there's new leaves being. And they're getting all dewy. So that's good. Um, here, back here, we have some Venus Vi traps. They're doing the same. Uh, it's weird. Let me get it out. There's something weird going on back there. Um, here, let me just 
turn it around. Well, I got some good traps open on here, and I fed most of these. But with these uh, red Venus fly traps, every time I uh, feed them, they wilt over and die, and they, the whole trap like falls forward, so I don't know what's going on with that. But I might post some pictures on Terra forums or carnivore forums and see if anyone can help. Uh, but overall, they're doing really well. And then leaf cuttings are doing the same. Um, let me get these out. Um, but if anyone knows about this, this is Josera. Uh, Capensis Giant. And the leaves are turning black. You can see the tip is black right now. I just cut off the stem that was turning completely black. And that's my old leaf cutting. It's right there. And it's completely black and dead. And so I'm hoping this one will bud. Because I'm trying to trade it. But I don't know if it will. It just doesn't look too good. Uh, Drosera Adelaide is doing really good. I already took one leaf cutting from here. Which is the leaf cutting right there. And you can see there's one plant budding off the end. And there's little red buds trying to push up all over the place. So within a week or two, I'll plant those in too. And those might be traded too. And then Drosarinidiformis looks horrible, but somehow there's a little stem thingy on it. So, oh, it's looking better. And I'm probably going to start planting those with their mother plants over here and so that maybe I can have like crowded pots I like the look of that here I have Drosera capensis alba I got so many seeds in an SASE there's like a ton of them and I didn't realize it but I spread them out everywhere so hopefully I'll have a ton and I think that's it um here's just another look at sphagnum if you need any I would recommend ordering from them. It comes like straight from their boxes or whatever. And there's pine needles in it, but like a lot of it is live. Like if you pull out a piece, it's like a tip at the end. See? And so it looks really nice. And I like what kind it is. I'm not really sure, but it's more cushiony. And here, I was cultivating sagnum off, but I guess I don't really need to anymore. So. Okay, I think that's it.